Baker Health System is eliminating 30 management positions in what it's calling a reorganization effort. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Kim Chapman. Bliss Ekman spoke with the hospital leaders to see if the changes at the top will affect the patients. Bliss. Josh Kim, the decision comes roughly one month after former CEO Kevin Spiegel parted ways with the health system. Tonight, the board chairman says the decision has been a long time coming. 30 Erlanger employees will soon be without work. Officials with the health system insist the change isn't affecting its bedside staff. But patients like Dave Meetsner are wondering if the shakeup will affect the level of care they receive. I have spent 96 days in the hospital since June of 2017. Some of Meetsner's chemotherapy appointments are at Erlanger, where he's being treated for a form of eye cancer. I like knowing that when I go to a facility, whether it's Erlanger or Memorial, that the staff there are, they like their jobs and they don't, they're not stressed about losing their jobs because they got a no, new CEO. Erlanger's board of trustees chairman, Mike Griffin, says even though the announcement was made by their new CEO, Dr. William Jackson. We have been talking about making these changes since the first of the year, so it's really not directly tied to the new CEO. Griffin says when former CEO Kevin Spiegel started in 2013, Erlanger had fewer than 100 people in management positions. Now, he says, about 260 managers are on their payroll. That means in six years, more than 150 management roles were added. This is a business, and, you, and, it, and it's, it's tough. I mean, it's, it's a corporate-type decision, and it, you know, lives were affected, and, and it's, it's nothing that's taken lightly. In a statement, Jackson said in part that the management realignment effort will better position Erlanger to meet the changing landscape of health care and focus on providing exceptional care. It's not going to be like, oh, you know, 30 people today and five more next week and you know, this is very much thought out and planned and, and, and this should be it. The changes are effective at the end of this month. We requested an interview with Jackson to elaborate on those changes. He declined. Kim. Liz, thank you. At tonight's quarterly budget meeting, Erlanger officials say they also looked at cutting costs in other areas like overtime. 